I pray for these people of God, all those who are joining, participating in this Holy Rosary Adoration, Holy Mass. Let everyone be blessed and protected, washed in the precious blood of Jesus. Wherever they are, they all are controlled and covered by the mantle of Jesus. Let the protection and the presence of the Holy Spirit be there upon every child of God. All those who are participating, let everyone experience the healing touch of the Lord. We pray in a special way, Lord. Abba Father, Abba Sin. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. We worship you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all stretch out your hands with Jesus and sing together, purify. Abba Father. Jesus. Our God is here right now. He is anointing every child of God. He is blessing everyone right now. Every block and bondage is be broken right now in Jesus name. The Spirit of God is moving among you. Let us focus on the blessed sacrament. The Lord is here right now. Let's stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament and worship Him from our heart. He is blessing everyone wherever you are. Your pres His presence is coming to everyone. Let us stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament. Focus on the Eucharist right now. Jesus is blessing everyone. Right now in Jesus' name. He is blessing everybody. Let the Spirit of God anoint and take control of every child of God.
my dear brothers and sisters let us open our hands in front of god he is here right now he is anointing you every brokenness every wound every rejection every confusion that you are carrying just offer it in the hands of god the lord can see every detail of your problem he knows your husband he knows your wife he knows your children he knows how much you go through how much you face in your daily life he knows you are alone he knows there is no one to help you there is no one to support you the same god who lived 2000 years ago is here right now in front of you the same god who healed the lepers is here standing in front of you the same god who walked on the water and calmed the sea rebuked the wind he is here standing now in front of you in the form of bread the same god who healed the bleeding woman the same god who raised lazarus from death the same god who healed the lepers the same god who healed the blind man bartholomew the same man the same god who healed and raised the son of the widow of nine he is standing in front of you in the form of bread if you believe you will see the glory of god if you believe the power of god will be manifested in your family your children will be set free your husband your wife you will parents will be set free the same god is here right now in front of you believe my dear brothers and sisters let's ask jesus to purify your heart purify your body purify your mind let us focus on the eucharist right now sing together
everybody stretch out your hands for Jesus. Our God is touching you right now. Anastasia, the Lord is blessing you. Paul, the Lord is blessing you right now. The power of God descending upon you. Somebody who has got pain on your uh, leg, muscles pain of your right leg, the Lord is healing you right now. Tony, the Lord is blessing you right now. Mina, the Lord is blessing you. The power of God is descending upon you. Someone who has got severe problem connected to your stomach. The Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who is getting epileptic attack very often, very often in a day, single day, you get many often. The Lord is healing you right now from this epileptic attack. The power of God is descending upon every child of God. Heaven is open now. The power of the Holy Spirit is washing you with His precious blood. Let's sing together at the top of your voice. Purify, Lord. Let's stretch out your hands for Jesus. Abba. Abba Father. Set every child free now. Heal everybody, Lord. We are broken, we are shattered, we need you, Lord. Wash and precious blood with your precious blood, Lord. Purify. Purify every heart, every body. We cry out to you, Lord. Abba. Set apart for you. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for touching these people right now. Thank you, Father. We can feel the power, we can feel the other meeting. We thank you, Lord. I chose to be. Everybody close your eyes, keep your hands on your heart. Feel the power, feel the presence now. He is consoling you right now. Jesus is embracing everybody right now. He is hugging you right now. He is blessing every child of God. Sonia, the Lord is blessing you. Lydia, the Lord is blessing you. Every the Lord is blessing you. The Lord is opening the ears of a person right now. A broken leg is getting healed right now. A broken leg is getting healed. A child who is having eyesight problem, the Lord is healing you. A young girl who is having blood sugar, high blood sugar, the Lord is healing you right now. Someone who is trying to get a mortgage, the Lord is blessing you and getting, giving you the mortgage now. Abba Father, we believe in you. We believe in your power. We believe in your healing touch. We believe that you are here. We believe that you are touching every family now. Thank you, Father. Abba. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take the Holy Rosary in our hand and let's pray together the Holy Rosary. As we pray together the Holy Rosary, let us pray for the whole world. The Lord is blessing everyone. All those who are participating in this adoration and Holy Mass in a special way, let us pray for them. 
none of you will be disappointed everyone is going to be touched by the holy spirit and everyone who will participate in this adoration you are receiving the power of god let us believe in this power believe in the anointing believe in the presence of god let us proclaim our belief i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life of everlasting amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from evil amen for faith hope and charity hail mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be the world without end. Amen. Let us all bow down in front of the blessed sacrament, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine The first glorious mystery the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ triumphing over death rose again on the third day glorious and immortal in this mystery let us pray for all the world religions and all those who follow superstitious beliefs and all those who spread hatred in the name of god all the denominations christian denominations all those who are leading luxurious life scandalous life and those who do not support evangelization those who do uh, not understand the importance of the evangelization let's pray for all of them so that let the whole world be be able to believe in jesus christ let's ask the intercession of our lady and pray for this intention Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary, holy mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was the beginning, is now, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. the second glorious mystery, the Ascension of our Lord Jesus. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, forty days after his resurrection, ascended into heaven in the presence of his Most Holy Mother, the apostles and disciples. In this mystery, let us pray for all those who discern their career and those who are on the dead deathbed, let us pray for all those leaders of underworld and those who do counseling and other ministries, the ministers and preachers, and those who support world evangelization, and those who are affected by war, and those who are living in fear of death, and those who are abused by their own parents. Let us pray for those who are influenced by wrong ideologies. Let us pray for all these intentions. Let's pray together. Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. 
let us all stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament the lord is here right now in front of us believe in our lord jesus i believe in the heavenly father i believe in jesus christ i believe in the holy spirit this is our faith let us proclaim our faith the lord is healing somebody called tavo the lord is blessing you norin the lord is blessing you right now the spirit of god is coming to you right now slowly thirst and pray the abba father have mercy on the whole world we are going to proclaim our faith right now in jesus name the lord is here right now tell the lord tell the lord lord i pray for the whole world lord help everybody to uh, focus on the eucharist everybody focus on the eucharist stretch out your hands towards the blessed sacrament the all creating one god almighty to your holy spirit conceive in christ the son jesus our savior i believe in god our father i believe in christ the son I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is free and one. I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is free in one. I believe in the resurrection that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. Everybody declare our faith in Jesus' name. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is free in one. I believe in the resurrection that we will rise again for I believe in the name of Jesus our Father everlasting the all creating one God Almighty to your Holy Spirit Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is free. Our Father, I believe in the resurrection. We declare our faith right now. Our Father, have mercy. Bless every family. Abba Father, have mercy. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is free God. I believe in the resurrection. That we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. God is blessing you. Jesus is coming to your family. He is setting everybody free now. Oh Jesus. Even the resurrection that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Abba, thank you. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the protection. Thank you for the power. Thank you for washing us with your precious blood now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Abba, we worship you. We give you glory. We praise you, Lord. Thank you. 
blessing you right now somebody who has got a lump on your chest the lord is healing you right now and someone who has got severe neck pain the lord is healing you right now the lord's power is coming to you someone who is having vomiting sensation very often especially after your food the lord is healing you right now abba father is blessing every child someone who has got stammering problem the lord is healing you someone who has got pain on your ankles of your leg the lord is healing you right now Jesus. marina the lord is blessing you andrew the lord is blessing you right now miriam the lord is blessing you right now thirst for the anointing thirst for the love of god all those who call the name of jesus will be saved jesus said in my name you will cast out demons there is power in the name of jesus the third third dec- decade of the holy rosary the descent of the holy spirit let us contemplate in this mystery how our lord jesus christ being seated at the right hand of god sent as he had promised the holy spirit upon his apostles who after the ascension returned to jerusalem and continued in prayer and supplication with the blessed virgin mary expecting the fulfillment of his promise in this mystery let us pray for all those who are losing their memory all those who are having acidity problem hormonal dysfunction autistic problem ulcers and walking difficulties difficulties in studies epileptic attack and heart problem high blood pressure and blood sugar problems let us pray for all of them so that they may all be set free now completely in jesus name our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us do not, not let us fall into temptation, temptation. but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you among so women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god, god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you among so women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. The fourth uh, glorious mystery, the Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious Virgin Mary, many years after the resurrection of her son, passed out of this world to him and was taken bodily into heaven, accompanied by the holy angels. In this mystery, let us pray for the divinity center, the divinity centers all around, around the world. Especially, let us pray for the divinity centers in UK, the divinities in Ramsgate and Darlington, and all our future programs and future retreats, and every planning that we have in our mind, according, let it be according to the plan of God. Let the Holy Spirit take control of every decision that we take. Let us pray for this intention. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. The fifth uh, sort of uh, glorious mystery, the coronation of Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious Virgin Mary was to the great jubilation and exaltation of the whole court of heaven, crowned by her son with the brightest diadem of glory, and how all the saints rejoice with her in heaven. In this mystery, let us pray for our spiritual growth. Let us also pray for the deliverance from all evil afflictions to overcome all the temptations to stability to have the stability in prayer life and let's pray for uh, if anybody is struggling to forgive and any our enemies and going through hurt feelings and inner wounds let us pray for all of those all those people in a special way so that let everyone who is participating in this adoration and worship be healed through the intercession of our lady let us pray together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now under the roof of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now under the roof of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us stretch out your hands towards the Blessed Sacrament. De let, let us declare our faith in God. I believe, Lord. Right now, the Lord is healing somebody who has got skin allergy, skin disease. You are having this skin disease for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who is having extreme hair fall, and you are also having some round shape hair fall, and uh, that full area, completely the hair is disappearing in here and there in the, in the in your head the lord is healing you right now 
and somebody who has got small color change on your tongue and severely affecting the color change on your tongue the lord is healing you somebody who has got a block in the nose the lord is healing you the power of god is descending upon you somebody when you breathe you get pain on your chest the lord is healing you right now brian the lord is blessing you the power of god is descending upon everyone thomas the lord is blessing you in a special way and the lord is healing someone who has got severe pain on your back pain backbone the lord is healing you somebody who is waiting for a gift of child the lord is blessing you with the gift of children right now the holy spirit is coming to you everyone is anointed right now the power of god descending upon every child thirst and pray oh holy spirit come and fill come and fill the heart of everyone bless everyone i believe in the father i believe in jesus christ i believe, I believe in the holy God spirit everybody father. pray i believe in christ the son i believe in the holy spirit our god is free in one i believe in the resurrection that we will rise again for i believe in the name of jesus i believe in god our father i believe in christ the son i believe in the holy spirit our god is free in one i believe in the resurrection that we will rise again for i believe in the name of jesus for i believe in the name of jesus let us read romans chapter 10 verse 9 romans chapter 10 verse 9 romans 10 9 the scripture says because if you confess with your lips that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Sisters and brothers, it's very important that we confess with our lips that Jesus is Lord. And we have to believe in our heart that God has raised him. This is what we do as we sing, Lord, I believe. Once again, I believe in God the Father. Let's kneel down, lift our hands. We are going to fulfill this word of God in our life as we declare, as we confess our faith in God. And as we claim, as we sing, even the children who does not believe, those who have denied the existence of God, those who profess themselves as atheists and unbelievers, even on behalf of them, on behalf of all the non-Christians and unbelievers, our Father everlasting, we believe in you. I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again, for I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in God our Father. I believe in God. We believe in you. We declare you are alive. You have life. You have eyes. You have heart. You can feel us. You can feel our pain. You are a living God. You are with us. You are inside us. You are moving with us. We love you. We believe in you. We belong to you, Lord. We declare that you are the Lord of heaven and earth. You are alive and you are reset. We believe in you, Lord. Let all the chains be broken. Let the bondages be broken. Let the bad habits be broken. Let everyone who are in shame, pain and sorrow be delivered. Lord, we believe in you. We believe in you. A new life, a new heart. For I believe in the name of Jesus. Lord, we claim faith. Join us in worship, Mina. Join us in worship, Giselle. Join us in worship, Shamin. Join us in worship, Lona. You have all been gifted. Pray with us. Pray with us so that.
God that chains may be broken, chains in your nation. Maybe you are in Dubai, in Mumbai, in New Jersey, in New York, in Nairobi, in Eldoret, in wherever you are, in Johannesburg, in Durban. Maybe you are in Delhi. Maybe you are in Paris, Frankfurt, in any any part of the world. You are joining us from London. Worship the Lord. Declare the faith so that the chain of unbelief be broken. I believe in God our Father. We claim our faith. We claim our faith in you, Father. We claim our faith in you, Jesus. We claim our faith in you, Holy Spirit. We claim non-believers and Christians and non-Christians for you. For I believe in the name. Not to you, God is blessing you. Nicole, God is blessing you. Philo, God is blessing you. Finden, God is blessing you. Andrea, God is blessing you. Sharjan, God is blessing you. Shalina, God is blessing you. sisters and brothers we are so privileged and honored to worship our living god we know there is no name as foretold we read categorically the apostles declared there is no name that's given on earth from heaven other than the name of jesus for our salvation let's declare and proclaim this word of god There is salvation in no one else. There is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven. For there is no other name in heaven given among mortals. Given among mortals. By which we must be saved. By which we must be saved. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are the only savior. There is no one else. We believe it. Sisters and brothers, I am going to read some of the testimonies. It's mainly for the newcomers, those who join us for the first time today, and those who always listen to the messages that have been announced from this holy altar in the presence of the Eucharist. You should know that we believe in a living God. We should know that we have a God who has a tongue, he has a heart, he has eyes, he has ears, he can feel even your feelings he can know your emotions he feels your pain and he gives you messages and it fulfills and we have some testimonies which will increase your faith so that you know in you are worshiping god not in vain you are worshiping god with true faith these testimonies one is from juela she is giving a testimony that since her second son was born she had severe pain it was difficult for her to bend to sit even to carry the son even she had pain on her spine she was afraid that this pain may last forever because this pain was not going away she joined this live stream the worship she started worshiping god now she is telling no longer she has any pain she had pain on the spine she had pain to bend to sit even to carry the son now she is perfectly healed juela is giving this testimony and she is healed by jesus as she was worshiping the lord wherever you are clap your hands and give glory to the lord when you give glory to the lord similar healings will take place even in your life maybe you have the same struggle is he will heal you because he's a living god then gracie fernandez is giving a testimony that she was uh, that the message was announced from here that a mother is crying for her son and gracie is telling gracie fernandez she was crying for her son to pray to join her her son was never joining the live worship but after this announcement was made miraculously the son came and joined the prayer service now the son is joining with the mother and praying 
and lot of peace and joy she could feel and she is also giving the testimony that since then there is lot of transformation in her son then pierded taylor is giving the testimony of her husband who had a severe neck pain he got healed and she had uh, lost her gold she could not know where it was and she could recover it she could find where it was misplaced then philomena from dubai is giving a testimony that she had applied for uk visa for 20 days she was joining the live stream without missing a single day she had lot of anxiety and fear will she ever get the uk visa the last day she got an email saying from the uk embassy saying that her visa process is started this is testimony from philomena dubai you may have the similar problem your visa is in trouble you don't know will it ever be approved jesus is alive believe he is a real god if philomena is blessed from dubai you will also be blessed then amelia sequera from goa she is giving a testimony that she had a fall and then she had a tailbone she had pain she broke her tailbone she broke her right hand and she is giving the testimony as she joined the worship she got healed of her tailbone and even her right hand that was broken jesus healed her then priya is giving a testimony that a miracle happened during the pentecost retreat that she had a burning sensation on her knees while the worship was going on and she got healed remember the pentecost retreat was in the month of may now this is july now when priya is giving a testimony she is already a witness of the miraculous healing power in her body now her knee is completely healed now another testimony is from james pereira from andheri this is from mumbai james was suffering from covid 19 and he was admitted in the icu in serious condition as he was joining the service his name was announced now james is discharged he is healed and he is giving this testimony james is healed of covid 19 as he joined the worship it is god's promise exodus 23 25 if you worship me i will bless your bread and your water and i will heal sickness this is god's promise and god's word this is exactly what took place in his life exodus 23 25 that this word of god came true in his life i will take sickness away from among you this is god's promise if you are sick and you are joining this worship remember he is the healer he is the healer exodus 15:26 there is nowhere in any test in any religion you don't see such a word of god here the scripture says i am the lord who heals you the second part i am the lord who heals you for i am the lord who heals you there is no one in the world no other god no other religion has ever said ever claimed I am the Lord who heals you. Jesus said this that God is here it's him we worship. We are worshiping a living God. That's why this powerful song Jesus we lift up your name. When you lift your the name of the Lord this miracle is really happening. Sisters and brothers then we also have Linus Korea he is giving the testimony from Dubai. that he was also diagnosed by covid-19 when he got it he got severe fear inside he does not know whether he will be alive he will die and it was announced that 14 days he should be in quarantine he got a lot of panic but he joined the worship and linus is telling in 8 days he was discharged and the result came out he was covid negative and linus is giving a testimony to give glory to the lord and he is acknowledging it is jesus who healed him who healed him jesus, jesus. declare his name who healed him jesus who healed him jesus who healed him jesus that same jesus is here believe he knows you are sick maybe you are still in icu 
maybe today you are diagnosed that you have covid don't fear we have a living god then stacy is giving a testimony that she had fear fear of employers fear of coworkers fear of her job during the pentecost retreat stacy got healed healed of fear sisters and brothers there is no medicine for fear to be healed jesus is the medicine he said do not fear isaiah 41:13 came true in stacy's life let's also claim this word of god together isaiah 41:13 isaiah 41:13 do not fear do not fear i the lord your god i the lord your god hold your right hand hold your right hand it is i who said to you it is i who said to you do not fear do not fear i will help you i will help you as you listen to this worship today are you afraid do you have fear anxiety maybe in the workplace your superiors your own parents or anyone surrender it the lord is telling fear not you should not fear that he is with you then sister god see Sister Godsi is from Kerala. Now she is in Florence in Italy and her intention was so special when she joined this live stream worship. She has to pass the theory test of driving license that she has to take the the driving license. She attempted several times in the past but she joined the worship, she surrendered this intention and she passed the theory test and she had also the problem of stammering. the message was announced and now sister god see is giving the testimony that she received healing and she passed the exam wherever you are clap your hands maybe you are preparing for an exam you want to pass your driving test your theory test your practical test you have to pass ielts remember jesus he gives victory this is 1 corinthians 1558 came true in the life of sister god see so the same miracle will happen in your life therefore my beloved be steadfast immovable always excelling in the work of the lord because you know that in the lord your labor is not in vain that means your worship is not in vain the time that you spend for the lord is not in vain was 57 we read it is not in vain because give thanks to god who gives us victory through our lord jesus christ who gives you victory lord jesus christ not your professor not your teacher god god gives victory believe it believe it sisters and brothers i had gone for my driving test here in uk it was my practical test so i failed for the first time second time i was going my instructor was sitting behind my instructor not the examiner examiner is sitting in front i am driving the examiner is there and my instructor is behind so the second time i am driving and i made some mistakes so the instructor was so sure i will fail so he just showed me a hand father don't expect you have failed but the examiner is telling me father you are passed and i give thanks to god then i came to know is not the instructor who gives me victory is not the examiner who gives me victory it is jesus praise the lord that day early morning before i was going to test i made a sincere confession i went with a clear conscience saying the lord lord i don't know how to pass but you can give me victory why i say this i have for the instructor what he said is true i have made mistakes then i passed then i came to know is not my merit is jesus who gave me victory even you as you listen to me if you passed any exam you know certain times you performed very well and you did not get the expected mark when you have did, did not perform and you passed that is god's mercy that same god is here this is the testimony of sister godsi and i want you to believe it so he can let you pass even when you have written some wrong answers then retty rodrigues is giving the testimony that she had high blood pressure and all the test was 
were been done even they suspected covid 19 they had a lot of fear then that's the time she joined the worship and the announcement was made from here that a lady who was taken to the hospital is being healed and she said immediately all the tests came pos came positive means that she had no sickness and Reti was discharged so she is giving this testimony maybe you are in the hospital maybe you are on the way to hospital believe in Jesus he can heal you right now on the way to hospital believe it Th then Jen is giving a testimony that he had a knee pain and he is telling he joined the praise and worship so sometimes we announce you to jump to dance to clap your hands through the camera maybe you think we cannot see you but angels can see you Jesus can see you so Jen was dancing God saw this and he got healed of knee pain so when you have knee pain don't sit on that sofa comfortably and sleep and snore get up when we say get up get up when we say dance dance when we say jump jump it's not we who are saying God is speaking through us just to bless you so when we, whenever we do some praise and worship it's an integral part of worship it's an integral part of giving glory to God then Rosita Afonso from Goa she's giving the testimony for her son who had a cyst on the lips and the message was being announced and she claimed it and her son got healed then Lorraine from Chennai from India is giving the testimony that while the rosary was being prayed she got healed of headache and body pain we know that this service begins at 6 up to 9 it's important that you join exactly at 6 if you are in the office will you ever go late our God is the King of Kings he should not wait for us we should wait for him you should log in before 6 p.m wait for the Lord to worship him I have always uh, found that our most important worship of this session begins exactly at 6 because we start preparing at 5 30 actually we the priests come here at 5 30 5 30 to 6 we pray with our team so the first blessing comes at 6 o'clock while why this is important there was a pool called Bethsaida you know this parable this incident that Jesus informed this is not a parable it's an incident so the angel comes and he shakes the water the first one falls into it gets healing six o'clock join us don't be late because God is waiting for you and then uh, this is the testimony of Sandra Sandra is giving the testimony that she was praying for her brother in United States who was in the ship there was 1400 people in the ship Sandra was praying for her brother for his safe return journey to Goa. She prayed and she is giving the testimony her brother came safe. And they were actually, it is a miracle that we know, almost all the ship were affected with this COVID and they could not even come out. It should have been in the quarantine. But in seven days her brother was released and did never got infected. And she is giving this glory to God because of the praise and worship. Then Ilda D'Souza from Mumbai is giving a testimony that her son had a kind of an issue in the nails and her son Ian got healed and her husband Edwin who had hip joint pain it was being healed and even she is telling that she one day she was so restless lot of heaviness she just joined the worship knelt down lifted up the hands and praised and she is telling she felt a cool breeze is passing on to her body. All her restlessness disappeared. Sisters and brothers, maybe as you have just switched on your phone or the TV and you are so disturbed, you are in the kitchen, you don't know what to do. You are so much affected and afflicted. Just come, kneel down, lift your hands and say, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Let's kneel down wherever we are. We also, I have also written so many other testimonies We'll continue it the next day. Please kneel down. Let's worship the Lord. Have that faith that He is here. He is real. He can see you. He can heal you. If the Lord can see, heal all these people. If all the messages that have been announced from here really happened, 
the same thing will happen even today kneel down declare your faith in god claim god is your savior lord i fear no longer God is blessing you. Pindu, God is blessing you. Shama, God is embracing you with love. Shama, Rebecca, God is blessing you. Angelin, God is blessing you. Alexander, God is blessing you. Sheldon, God is blessing you. I'm no longer a Henry, God is blessing you. Shane, God is blessing you. Mary, God is blessing you. Jeans, Joseph, God is blessing you. Shane, Marty, God is blessing you. CB, Sebastian, God is blessing you. CG, Mall, God is blessing you. John, Paul, God is blessing you. James, God is blessing you. 
feel is God is blessing you. Till see God is blessing you. Thomas, God is blessing you. Tanya, God is blessing you. Tanya, God is embracing you with His pure love. You are not rejected. Anama, God is blessing you. Lord, deliver your people from every fear. child of God I'm a child of God let's worship the Lord Lord we love you we praise you we worship you we adore you we glorify you deliver us O Lord deliver us O Lord wash us in your blood wash us in your blood O Lord we belong to you Lord we belong to you set us free set your children free Lord Wash us in your blood. Wash us in your blood. Jesus. 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 Wash us in your blood. Wash us in your blood. We belong to you, Lord. We belong to you, Lord. Shudira bala rabariya. Shalla bala bati bala rabariya. Shudira bala bati bala rabariya. Hala bala bati bala rabariya. Shudira bala 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 Allah Allah Batir Bala Rabariya Sarandir Bala Rabariya Allah Allah Batir Bala Shabarandir Bala Rabariya Let's focus on the Eucharistic Lord and let us directly say wherever you are, kneel down, lift both your hands. Your response is, I am nothing before you. Please look at the Blessed Sacrament. See that though you can only see a bread, this is Jesus who has 10,000 eyes. He can see everything. You say the truth that you are nothing before him. Your, your response is, I am nothing before you. Sweetheart of Jesus. 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 I am nothing before you. I am nothing without you. Sweetheart of Jesus, I am nothing, nothing without you. Sweetheart of Jesus, I am 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 nothing without you. I am totally yours. Sweetheart of Jesus, 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 I am totally yours. I surrender to you. Sweetheart of Jesus, 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 I surrender to you. Lord Jesus, you can hear what your people pray. They declare that they are nothing before you. They declare that they are nothing without you. They declare that they belong to you totally. They declare that they surrender to you. Lord, your priest, I pray, protect them. 
no evil touch them no police arrest them no case be charged against them because they belong to you totally they have surrendered their life to you no sickness may affect them no covid may attack them they are your people we seal them in the blood of jesus we pray for them we pray for their protection their prosperity and their security wherever they are in any part of the world they are just kneeling in front of you oh blessed sacrament we know you are alive in this sacrament you are holy you are holy you are the beginning and the end you are the alpha and the omega you are the lord of all creation you are the great i am you are the great high priest you are the life and the resurrection you are the way the truth and the life you are the beginning lord protect them let everyone who are joining this worship wherever they are let them be protected let them be healed let them be surrounded by a wall of fire let you put a wall of fire around them so that they may be set free please pray after me my lord jesus my lord jesus i give my life to you i give my life to you totally totally take over my life take over my life and protect me and protect me listen to what the lord is speaking to you today he is asking many of you don't follow crooked ways you think that nobody can find it nobody can understand certain unhealthy relationships and friendships even certain friendship that is leading you to alcoholism gambling and certain types of wrong relationships stop this and god's blessing will flow to you like a river that was been unblocked the lord is also asking someone to surrender your cell phone and uninstall certain games which are filthy full of violence even nudity and filthiness the lord is asking you why are you killing yourself why are you destroying yourself don't you know that these filthy things are dominating your intellect your will your conscience surrender it uninstall it immediately god can see it and he is telling you he wants to dominate your heart your thoughts the lord is also inspiring someone uh, that you always when your wife is asking for some money some help you always say you have no money and the lord is inspiring you use the money you have deposited in the bank don't you know that this money cannot be helped after your death use it now this money was deposited for the time of crisis use it don't lie to your children to your partner saying you have no money use it and that's the way god is going to bless you because you can't take anything after your death use it why are you so miserly then the, the lord is also asking some those who correct you are your good god given friends don't avoid them why are you avoiding those who correct you they are your genuine friends they let you grow to god there are many the lord is inspiring many more than 24 children you speak so badly to your parents the lord wants you to repent proverbs 28:24 proverbs 28:24 he is telling you to repent of it anyone who robs father or mother and says that is no crime is a partner to a thug is equal to be a thief if we if you misguide if you threaten your parents even proverbs chapter 20 verse 20 proverbs 20 20 again he is telling the same message that if you curse father or mother your lamp will go out in utter darkness do you think that there is no breakthrough in your life did you ever curse your dad or your mom the lord is also asking many stop cracking jokes that hurt and humiliate others why do you hurt the heart feelings of others don't crack or don't join 
those types of filthy jokes maybe through the social media you should never be part of it if you are part of a group that has this negative mentality get out of it stop this group then there are more than 29 children you are finding it hard to obey your parents and the lord is inspiring you obey them because they are the only people who pray for you daily your mom cook for you daily even clean your room sleep every day after you have slept get up even before you get up so don't say that your parents don't care for you don't say they are fake they are the only people who love you so obey them that will lead you to your ultimate welfare the lord is also inspiring many to pray for the leaders are you a student in a university and you are struggling it is time to pray for your university pray for your university you have so many complaints there is lot of partiality maybe racism maybe you are not getting the mark you expected is a sign that your university you are vice chancellor you are dean you are teacher need prayers you are leaders need prayers 1 timothy chapter 2 from 1 we read make prayers and intercessions and supplications for all those who are in high position so that you may lead a godly life 1 timothy chapter 2 from 1 he is telling you make intercessions I urge that supplications prayers intercessions and thanksgivings be made for everyone you cannot avoid Boris Johnson or Narendra Modi or Emmanuel Macron or Uhuru Kenyatta or Angela Merkel or Donald Trump from your prayers if you don't pray who will pray it's it's god's message and the word of god then verse 2 we read why we have to pray for kings for presidents for prime ministers for all the ministers all who are in high position maybe a vice chancellor in the university so that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in godliness and dignity are you persecuted by the government you are land documents are never been passed you find that the government is corrupted it's also your duty to pray for them then verse 3 and this prayer is this is right and acceptable in the sight of god our savior we make different types of prayers and a prayer that is so right and so acceptable is a prayer for all those who are in leadership the lord is also inspiring many to stop visiting prostitutes don't you know sickness is roaming around you stop why do you destroy yourself the lord is also asking to avoid those who flatter you speak so many things about you that you are so good remember you are not good it's only god who is good so if somebody is telling you are good it can ruin your soul because being good is not possible for a man a human person is a sinner that means you need to still repent the lord is asking a person sing for god that the music that i have given you the voice that i have given you to bring glory to god that's the way your blocks will be removed when you serve god hidden blocks will be removed the lord is inspiring that a person you had your doctors gave you a wrong information that you have to do abortion but you did not do abortion though you had problems and your child will have some problems but you did not do abortion and god is so pleased and he is going to bless you with another child is god's promise the lord is also asking many don't get divorced don't try to get divorced then the lord is also given you that he is asking you a grace asking you to receive the grace especially somebody called seraphin god is blessing you in a special way God is also blessing a nurse and uh, you did not react when your staff nurse made a false accusation against you Jesus is telling I have seen that you did not react 
you accepted the humiliation the lord is going to give you a breakthrough in your life the lord is also blessing a mother who was praying for her 15 year old daughter who was in a way rebellious and having some kind of uh, reactions for everything you say when you silently pray for your daughter god is also blessing you and your daughter god is also blessing a son for whom you pray by name joel god is also blessing so many parents that your children is going to obey you and they are going to surrender their life to you god is also asking many children to join the prayer with your parents a dad who is so upset that your children do not obey you or follow you god is asking you stay with your children cook for them clean the house for them let them see that you love through your life and god is going to bless you and all your confusion about your children are not understanding you will be cleared the lord is also asking you if you are hurt for small things that means there's an aspect of pride in you when you surrender your pride you will not feel hurt because jesus was hurt people called jesus belzebul some called him a friend of prostitutes even so many who called him a thief he was being accused but jesus did never react jesus was never hurt they even called names lord deliver me from pride and he is going to set you free the lord is also healing many with eye related problem some with a severe neck pain on the right side of the neck even a lady with a right breast cancer is healing you there are many with a, the problem of varicose vein the problems and the pain he is healing you many with a severe back pain he is healing you many somebody with a breathing difficulty there are many with the covid 19 you are suspected this sickness he is healing you he is setting you free we are going to receive the final blessing for the jaws is going to give us the final blessing and we declare that our god is able to give us a breakthrough today this is sunday let's going to receive the final blessing and we are going to enter the eucharist celebrated by reverend father jaws palil let's also pray for the intentions of father jaws let the almighty god bless us through father jaws through all the prayers that we are going to attend through this powerful eucharistic celebration offer all the intentions on your altar for tomorrow father has already mentioned for the deliverance retreat take fasting and send how many days you are going to fast also for tomorrow service please pray uh, psalm 121 psalm 121 the whole psalm read once with memorare add memorare with psalm 121 and pray for tomorrow three times three times psalm 121 with memorare that is your contribution for this prayer service may the almighty god give you a breakthrough kneel down wherever you are and receive this final blessing as we are going to enter into the eucharistic celebration
ocean serpent white Your fire falls down Heaven and earth collide King Jesus forever by my side Shake the mountains Break the walls apart Open the heavens Almighty God you are overcomer Defender of my heart By your power The ocean's open wide Your fire falls down Heaven and earth collide Keep Jesus forever by my side O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine All praise and all thanksgiving Be every moment thine O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. We'll enter into the Eucharist celebration as we sing the anthems. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love for the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again we are around the altar of the Lord to praise, to worship, and to thank the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, all your intentions are placed on this altar, especially people who have sent their intentions these days. We remember all of you and your intentions, and we are praying for all of you. As I always say, wherever you are, we are all united in prayer. So we are all one family, we work for the Lord, we live for the Lord, are we, and we live in the presence of God. So my dear brothers and sisters, your families and your intentions, especially your personal intentions, are kept on this altar and we are praying for you. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us to root our life in the word of God. When we are in the presence of God, when we live according to the word of God, when we give opportunity for the word of God to be rooted in us, we prosper in our daily life. So my dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, in a special way, let us ask the Lord, Lord, give us the grace to understand the word of God to live it in our practical life and to proclaim it with all our life. With all those intentions, we pray. For all our failures, we ask pardon and mercy from the good Lord. We ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me all my sins. Let's pause for a while. 
ask pardon and mercy from the good Lord for all our failures. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kiriye, 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 of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ <coughs> and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response, some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. Some, some seed, seed fell, fell into rich, rich soil and, and produced its crop. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. 
some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. A second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul's to the Romans. I think that what we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory as yet unrevealed, which is waiting for us. The whole creation is eagerly waiting for God to reveal his son. It was not for any fault on the part of creation that it was made unable to attain its purpose. It was made so by God, but, cre but creation still retains the hope of being freed, like us, from its slavery to decadency, to enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children known. He has been, has been groaning in one great act of giving birth, and not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruit of the Spirit, we, we too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's all rise for the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the house and sat by the lakeside. But such crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood on the beach, and he told them many things in parables. He said, imagine a sower going out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on the patches of rock where they found little soil and sprang up straight away, because there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were caught and not having any roots. They withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil and produced their crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone who has ears. Then the disciples went up to him and asked, why do you talk to them in parables? Because he replied, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are revealed to you. But they are not revealed to them. For anyone who has will be given more. And he will have more than enough. But from anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The reason I talk to them in parables is that they look without seeing and listen without hearing of understand hearing or understanding so in their case this prophecy of isaiah is being fulfilled you will listen and listen again but not understand see and see again but not perceive for the heart of this nation has grown cursed their ears are dull of hearing and they have shut their eyes to, for fear they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their heart, and be converted and be healed by me. But happy are your eyes because they see, your ears because they hear. I tell you solemnly, many prophets and holy men long to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear and never heard it. You, therefore, are to hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of God 
word of the kingdom of kingdom without understanding the evil one comes and carries of what was sown in this in his heart this is the man who received the seed on the edge of the path the one who received it on the patches of rock is the man who hears the word of god and welcomes it and at once with joy but he has no root in him he does not last let some trial come or some persecution on account of the word and he falls away at once the one who received the seed in thorns is the man who hears the word but worries of this world and the lure of riches talk the word and so he produces nothing and the one who received the seed in rich soil is the man who hears the word and understand it he is the one who yields a harvest and produces now a hundredfold now 60 now 30 the gospel of the lord praise to you o lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus <clears throat> we are all eagerly waiting to accept the word of god i know at least for last 3 months more than 3 months that we every day we come for the worship every day we come to hear the word of god and every day we attend the holy eucharist I'm so glad that you are many of you are attending this divine word service which includes holy mass holy eucharistic adoration and the word of god I thank the good lord for the wonderful opportunity the lord has given me to preach the word of god especially when we reflect on the power of the word of god my dear brothers and sisters we are so blessed to hear the word of god to understand the word of god to experience the love of christ in our day to day life word of god is very powerful wherever you are the word of god is very powerful we know that even when we speak each one of us we speak when we speak it has the word has power even in our ordinary life that is why even when you are at home you ask your children or you ask your people at home i need something they bring if you ask for a cup of water or a cup of tea they will bring bring it before you or if you ask for some clarification or if you ask some questions they will answer you because your word has a power that is why they bring you coffee or water or whatever it may be your word has a power that is why when you are asking christians they are answering because the word is powerful my dear brothers and sisters even human words are powerful if that is with human words how much more it will be the word of god how much more effective the word of god in our day to day life word of god is so powerful when we read when we reflect we are not reading a book when we read the word of god we are not reading an ordinary book when we read the bible we are meeting a person that is a speciality of the word of god when you read the bible we are meeting a person we are talking with a person slowly we are absorbing the spirit of that person that is why the word of god always makes change in our life let us hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 indeed the word of god is living and active sharper than any two edged sword 
piercing until it divides soul from spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord joints from now from marrow it is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart praise the lord praise the lord the first part of this word we will repeat the word of god is living and active the word of god is living and active the word of god is living and active sharper than any two edged sword sharper than any two edged sword piercing until it divides soul from the spirit piercing until it divides soul from spirit the <clears throat> the word of god is powerful the word of god is living the word of god is active it is sharper than any two edged sword so my dear brothers and sisters when we are reading the bible when we are in touch with the word of god it makes a great change in our day to day life in today's gospel jesus speaks in a different parable in that parable you know that jesus always he spoke in small stories and parables because he knew the people he knew the people of god he know in what situation they are so he always used the certain parables which is so clear to the people so in today's gospel jesus tell that a sower he went out uh, to uh, a sower he went out uh, to uh, for, uh, with the seed to sow the purpose of the farmer the purpose of the sower that he must get good fruit my dear brothers and sisters he went out and he sowed then we read in the gospel that what happened some of them because the uh, little so other some of them when uh, imagine a sower going out to sow as he sowed some seeds fell on the edge of the path and the birds came and ate them and some others fell on the path of rock where they found little soil and sprang up straight away because there was no depth of earth but as soon as the sun came up they were scorched and not having any roots they withered away others fell among the thorns and thorns grew up and choked them others fell on rich soil and produced their crop some a hundredfold some 60 and some 30 my dear brothers and sisters this parable is a parable for us today as i already mentioned now for last 2 3 months especially people who are attending this eucharistic eucharistic adoration eucharistic celebration and the word of god for at least for past last past 3 months we are hearing the word of god we are hearing the word of god every day but the question before us is that does this word makes any change in my life does it make any change in my day to day life sometimes people say that i go for the mass i attend the eucharist uh, i attend the holy eucharist i hear the word of god but there is no change in my life there is no change in my personal life i still live in my own old ways that's why my dear brothers and sisters very often we are not we do not understand the power of the word of god i know this time is very crucial many do not get opportunity to participate in the holy eucharist and other church services but my dear brothers and sisters the good lord has given the wonderful opportunity for us to participate in this holy eucharist and divine word service the lord is coming to us each day my dear brothers and sisters when the lord comes when the lord speaks very often what happens though we hear the word of god it does not have root in our life 
It does not have root in our life. Sometimes we come for the Eucharist. Sometimes we hear the word of God. But after this Eucharist celebration, or after this um, homily, we, we got a lot of points. We say that, yeah, I want to change a life. But when we go out of this place, when we, when we go to our practical life, we are not able to lead a holy life. That is a problem for many of us. We hear the word of God, but it doesn't stay with us. My dear brothers and sisters, the word of God, once the word of God is received in the proper way, it produces a lot of fruits in our life. We all want to be blessed in our life. Am I right? We all want to be blessed in our life. If you ask, if I, if I ask you why you are uh, spending two or three hours every day before Jesus Christ, you have a lot of answers. Father, I must get a good job. I must be healed. And there must be peace in my family. There should be harmony with our friends and relatives. And there should be prosperity in my day-to-day -day life. Am I right? So this is what we always say. But my dear brothers and sisters, everything will happen in our life. What happened? In order to prosper in our day-to-day -day life, we read in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the, word of God, the words of prophecy. And blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written it, for the time is near. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please to repeat after me this word. Blessed is the one. Blessed is the one. Who reads aloud. The words of prophecy. And blessed are. Those who hear. And who keep what is written. In it. For the time is near. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the word of the prophecy. And blessed are the blessed are those who hear and who keep and who keep what is written in it. For the time is near. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters. Those who read aloud the words of the prophecy. And blessed are those who hear and keep what is written in it. For the time is near. Very often we hear the word of God. But Jesus also tell not only hearing and who keep what is written in it. Very often we fail to keep the word of God in it. Very often we fail to keep the word of God in our heart that is why after all these celebrations after all these eucharist after all these word of god there is no change in my life in our life because the lord wants to stay with us praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so my dear brothers and sisters uh, nowadays anybody who phones me or who asks for prayer or they say father you have to pray for us you what shall what kind of prayer we are to do shall we start a novena or shall we uh, do rosary i say all that you want you want you can do but if these days if anyone calls me i always tell them please read the word of god please read the word of god this is so powerful when you start reading the word of god slowly you understand you are talking with a person. When you start read the word of God, the Lord starts to walk in you. The Lord wants to be the Lord wants to be part of your life. So, my dear brothers and sisters, when we read and reflect the word of God, the word of God stay in us. When the word of God stay in us, it is easy to practice what we read. It is easy to understand the gospel of the Lord. 
as i already mentioned this is not an ordinary book to be read this is not an ordinary book to be to finish reading with one or two days or maybe with one month this is the, in, when we read this book we are talking we are speaking to a person it's a, it's a relationship so my dear brothers and sisters the word of god the word of god this book it's a relationship it's a book of relationship it is a story of our relationship with a person who is guiding and who is protecting us so as we read in today's gospel the sower went out to see uh, to sow and we see that the seeds were in different places sometimes he saw uh, he did he he went out and he saw as he sowed some seeds fell on the edge of the path in our day to day life also it can happen sometimes we hear the word of god but we are not able to cultivate the spirit of the word of god in our daily life so my dear brothers and sisters it is easy for us to proclaim jesus with our words that is why when we come for this eucharistic adoration or prayer or holy mass when we say that you proclaim the word of god or you praise or you worship it's good that we praise and worship the lord it's good that we praise and worship the lord with loud voice but my dear brothers and sisters if you praise and worship the lord in this chapel or at, for this three hours that is not enough when you are out of your prayer room if you are able to remain in the love of god if you are able to see the face of jesus christ in other people that will help us to lead a holy life so always keep in mind the word of god is a strength for all of us the word of god strengthen us so those who feel that they are tired those who feel that they are sad those who feel that they are in trouble those who feel that they are in depression let them open the holy bible let them start reading the word of god in my one of my one of my homilies in the last week i have already asked that those people who are not reading bible let them start reading bible today itself so if anyone did not start this is an another opportunity for all of you to start reading the word of god sometimes people start uh, people start different types of prayers to complete to fulfill their intentions so may i humbly request you this is the best prayer that you can do open your bible before the lord and read the bible for half an hour every day read the bible for half an hour every day sometimes people say that i don't have time for half an hour my dear brothers and sisters you must find out half an hour for jesus you must find out when you if you cannot uh, read the word of god 30 minutes continuously you break it into two parts 15 minutes in the morning 15 minutes in the evening maybe when you get up 15 minutes maybe when you go to the before you go to the bed 15 minutes if you start reading a bible for half an hour with a special intention with a special intention i'm sure that it will be fulfilled praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus whatever may be your problem whatever may be the whatever may be your life situation do not get upset do not be worried there is solution for all your problems in the holy gospel there is solution for all our problems everything can be regained sometimes you have lost your job you have lost your health you have lost your family you are in sorrow my dear brothers and sisters the gospel give us hope the gospel tells us everything can be regained everything can be regained because our lord is so powerful and at the same time we must we must keep in mind 
you must keep in mind that it needs some time. The Lord has started his work. Some of you are doing a lot of gardening work. Or whatever work you do, you see that if you, if you plant a seed, if you plant a seed today, tomorrow morning, you won't get any fruits. Am I right? It needs some time. Sometimes some, uh, some vegetables need two months or three months. Some need more than that. You have to wait patiently. That is why I say, you start reading the word of God for three months continuously. Start it today itself with a special intention. You start the word of God, read the word of God. You start, it, sometimes you feel that you don't understand anything. But my dear brothers and sisters, do not be afraid, don't, don't worry at all. You start reading half an hour. You start reading Bible half, for half an hour every day. And if you read continuously for three months, I'm sure that there will be change in our life. If you have a special intention, you pray that intention and read the word of God. The Lord will intervene in your life. We read that in the book of Psalms, 119, Psalm number 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Praise the Lord. Please do repeat after me. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again we read in the, in, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 10 and 11. The word of God is so powerful. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven. Please to repeat after me. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven. And do not return there. And do not return there. Until they have watered the earth. 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 Making it. Making it bring forth, bring forth and, sprout, and sprout, giving seed to the sower, giving seed to the sower and a bread to the eater. And bread to the eater. Verse 11. So shall my word be. So shall my word be. That goes out from my mouth. That goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty. It shall not return to me empty. But it shall accomplish. But it shall accomplish. That which purpose. That which I purpose. And succeed in the thing. And succeed in the thing. For which I send it. For which I send it. So my dear brothers and sisters. God is promising us. That if you are reading the word of God, if you are walking with the word of God, if you reflect the word of God, it is powerful. It will accomplish its aim, its intention. So my dear brothers and sisters, this must be our best prayer every day. Half an hour, please do read the word of God and pray for all your intentions. The Lord will fulfill your intentions and you will get a much better experience of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters in this Eucharistic celebration we pray to the Lord. Lord give me the grace to understand the word of God. Very often we read but we don't understand. We are in darkness. We do not understand. The Holy Spirit must enlighten our minds so that we may understand the word of God. The word of God surely will make miracles and wonders in our day-to-day -day life. We pray for everyone. Lord, bless all your people with the power of the word of God. Let them understand and experience the power of the word of God. My dear, my dear brothers and sisters, pray to the Lord. Lord, comforts me with your word. 
Lord, comforts me with your word. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only forgotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he ended his passion, and so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. <laughs> gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that parting of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope john wilson our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace namaste namaste kita away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but you only say the word and my soul shall be healed keep on thanking and praising the lord who is coming into our hearts in our homes my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if we were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In his time, in his time, in his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time, Lord, please show. Thank the good Lord for his presence. 
let us praise and worship the lord lord we thank you we praise you and we worship the hallelujah 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 thank you lord thank you jesus 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 jesus we thank you jesus we thank you jesus we worship you jesus we worship you jesus we adore you hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters the powerful presence of jesus christ is in our midst the powerful presence of christ is in our heart ask the lord lord bless me lord make me a new person lord give me the gift of the word of god may I read and experience the love of god through this through your powerful word thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. worship you jesus worship you jesus hallelujah 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 whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and i in him says the lord let us pray having consumed these gifts we pray o lord that by our participation in this mystery its saving effects upon us may grow through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god pray for priest o jesus eternal priest keep your priest within the shelter of your heart where none may harm them keep on stain their anointed hands which daily hold your sacred body keep holy their lips moistened with your precious blood keep holy and unearthly their hearts sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world their labors for the glory of god may be blessed with abundant fruits and may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven their eternal crown let them be eager to be with you to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one Lord give your church holy priests religious and lay leaders Jesus redeem of the world keep your your priests and those whom they serve holy mary queen of priests pray for your priests saint alphonse pray for the religious saint augustine of england pray for england holy family keep our families pure and holy saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of the battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and to the o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls amen saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of the battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and to the o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls amen saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of the battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and to the o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls amen we fly to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen we fly to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen we fly to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen we pray the psalm 91 you who live in the shelter of the most high who abide in the shadow of the almighty 
will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Let's all kneel down and uh, welcome Jesus in our midst. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no. 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 When Jesus say yes, 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 nobody can say no. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no. 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 Yes, nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no. See what the Lord can do. Bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low. See what the Lord can do. Bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low. See what the Lord can do. Bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low, bend low. See what the Lord can do. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
and worship the Lord at the top of your voice. The power of the Lord may come. The power of the Lord may come upon us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Abba Father. Abba Father. We adore you. We adore you. We praise you. We praise you. We worship you. We worship you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We adore you. We adore you. We praise you. We praise you. We worship you. We worship you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We praise you. We praise you. We adore you. We adore you. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, we were praising, adoring, and worshiping the Lord. The Lord has blessed many of us. The Lord is. looking at and and saying my dear daughter my dear my dear son do not be afraid the book of isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 the book of isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 so many of you are in trouble so many of you are looking at jesus and crying So Jesus is comforting all those who are crying. Jesus is comforting all those who are sad. Jesus is comforting all those who are in distress. Please do repeat after me. Do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. For I am with you. 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 Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I am your God. For I am your God. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I am your God. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. I will uphold you. I will uphold you. I will uphold you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. With my victorious right hand with my victorious right hand with my victorious right hand do not fear do not fear for i am with you for i am with you do not be afraid do not be afraid for i am your god for i am your god i will strengthen you i will strengthen you i will help you i will help you i will uphold you i will uphold you with my victorious right hand with my victorious right hand praise the lord 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 the lord is touching many people who are sad The Lord is telling do not be afraid do not be sad I'm with you Praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus worship you Jesus my dear brothers and sisters now we spend 3 minutes in silence 3 minutes in silence silence then we will have a worship this time you share your heart with the lord all those who are in struggle all those who are in deep sorrow and all those who are happy let all of them let all of us be open our hearts before the lord jesus loves us jesus loves each and every one here He is so happy to meet his children. So open the heart before the Lord and for three minutes we spend in silence.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, when we worship the Lord, the Lord will work miracles and wonders for us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are in the presence of mighty Lord. We worship we thank for all the blessings that we have received we thank the lord for all the blessings and sisters thank you for joining us for this adoration please to continue to pray for us we are praying for you and for your intentions have a blessed and good night god bless